Aiden Gonzalez was a healthy child until he started suffering from back and stomach pain. Please welcome Richard Harris with Driscoll Children's Hospital. We're discussing another miracle moment. That story is going to air tonight. Uh, we're going to focus on the different ways that people can really help out because what we're doing at the end of every uh, segment that we're airing um, Mondays and Thursdays is letting people know you can donate, you can give back. That's really what we want you to do. Uh, miracle, put your money where your miracle is. Is that the, is that the, the that tag? is it. Well, the basics really simple, you know, <clears throat> put your money locally. The miracles happen here. Their children are taken care of here. And, you know, we're hoped that you would support us by making donations. You know, there's so many organizations and charities that the money leaves the community but 100% stays here at our kids. That's that's really important. And we're looking at pictures of Aiden. Uh, we're going to learn all about him uh, later tonight. Marissa Cummings went out to Driscoll and visited with the doctors and the nurses there and learned about his story. Uh, the money, we were talking about the uh, different communities that we are in, that Driscoll is in, and we really do look after South Texas here. We cover 33,000 square miles, all the way to the Rio Grande Valley, to Laredo, to Victoria. So if you took a line and just drew right across the tip of Texas, that's where Driscoll has clinics. A lot of times we feature those families come mm -hmm. in and they stay at the Ronald McDonald House. Uh, they, they're receiving care over at Driscoll. I mean, it's, just, it's an amazing opportunity to have such a, a facility in our own backyard. We're very fortunate. Yeah. So what do you want people to do? After we run these stories, like there'll be one tonight, like we said, at uh, five and six, after we air it, is it one of those you can go online as well as make a phone call? Definitely. Or? Channel 3 will have the 800 number up. They will have the website. And we'd hope people would start making donations. You know, June 10th is our telethon, our mm -hmm. wind up, wrap up of all the miracle stories that we've been running in the whole month of May. And there's literally, you know, just hundreds of them out there. Children have been benefited by Driscoll. And that information is on your screen right now. We have the 800 number and then the website. We're going to put it on our website at ktriplitv.com if you do not have time to. Uh, write that down at the moment. But uh, Richard, always a pleasure visiting with you. Whenever we go out and shoot these stories, Richard's there. He's kind of guiding us through uh, through the way and introducing us to everyone. You're doing a great job and we uh, appreciate everything that y'all provide at the hospital. Well, we thank here. Channel 3 for all the support. You know, this is our 34th year. <clears throat> Joe has done it all 34 years. He's a he doesn't want to say he's that old yet, but uh, <laughs> he's done a great job and yes. we thank Channel 3 for all the support that y'all have given us. Absolutely, sir. Thank you.